Hey Avakin fam, Flying Hedgehog is back, diving into Avakin Life's Mistletown 2023. Join us as we explore the location, activities, and guide you on making the most of the event. We'll break down challenges, revealing all the exciting rewards. Stay tuned for a detailed exploration of Mistletown and all the festive delights it has to offer. It feels great to be back in Mistletown. We truly love this social spot. Wouldn't it be amazing if Christmas lasted all year round? Descend the stairs from the spawn point, head to the right, and in the first shop, you'll find the Magic Pass offer. This booster pack doubles your elf coin earnings from LKWD Mary, lets you deliver twice the gifts to Santa Claus, and includes 160 crowns and a pose, all for overpriced $8. Initiate Mary's daily challenge by approaching her, finding a specific elf in a social spot, and completing their task for 125 elf coins, or 250 with the booster pack. Then, spend these coins on rewards in the shop next to Mary. To unlock all, you need 1550 coins. The booster is unnecessary for Mary's challenge, as completing all tasks gives you 1625 coins even without it. Beneath the windmill, discover a cozy eating area to unwind. There's also a coffee machine serving up festive drinks for 20 avicoins or 80 gems. There's also a workshop table essential for the Santa Sea Challenge. We'll revisit it later. The initial amusement at the fair is a ride on the toy train, priced at 10 gems. Let's hop on and enjoy the journey. This train journey offers a maximum duration of 3.5 minutes, but feel free to stop it at any time during the ride by hitting the X. While we circle Mistletown on the gift train once, let's touch on the booster pack. It's not essential for all rewards in Mary's challenge, but the best part is, it's also unnecessary for all rewards in Santa Claus's challenge, as we'll show shortly. In the shop beside the train ride icon, the developers offer new clothing. All items, except one for females, are priced in crowns, and overall, the items are deemed overpriced. This stands out as a notable disappointment in this year's Mistletown event, attributed to the high prices and the dominance of crowns over coins. In the adjacent shop, you'll discover three animation routines, yet once more, all requiring crowns and making a significant dent in your wallet. Next to the animation shop, there's a carousel ride available for 5 gems, lasting 3 minutes and stoppable at any time by hitting the X. Let's take a spin for one round. Beside the carousel, you'll spot a present sack, a requisite for Santa's challenge. We'll revisit it shortly. Near the carousel, discover a snow pile and a dedicated snowman building spot. Start by gathering snow from the pile, then interact with the snowman spot. Choose from three different snowman designs and kick off the building process. Repeat this step three times, adding snow, and after the fourth addition, your snowman is complete. As we immerse ourselves in constructing our snowman, let's reflect on Mistletown. What are your impressions so far? Do you enjoy the social aspect, finding it a welcoming spot for quality time? Or do you primarily visit for tasks and freebies? Share your thoughts on whether Mistletown is compelling enough as is, or if the developers should make modifications to keep you engaged. We'd love to hear your thoughts. After completing the snowman, you and others can see the creator's name. If you're the creator or a friend, you can demolish the snowman, either for amusement or to create a new one. Now, let's cross the bridge. On the other side, next to the second present sack, you'll find a new, overpriced crown pack including 410 crowns and an appealing Cosmos costume for $18. Across the red carpet, discover a snack table, an additional pile of snow, and, most importantly, a cooler offering colored snowballs. You can purchase these snowballs for 25 coins and use them to playfully shoot at other Avakins. Keep in mind, they only last for 7 uses or 30 days before they disappear. Yes, it's a pity. We truly miss the times when inventory items lasted forever until we chose to discard them. It's just another control mechanism by the developers to encourage us to spend more money, especially when you consider temporary items sold for crowns. Ridiculous. However, in the very last corner, you'll discover a photo board perfect for snapping pictures, ideal for your social media. 
What's even more enjoyable is utilizing the snowball pile in front of it to playfully shoot snowballs at people striking poses. Definitely worth using to create entertaining content. In a quaint hut, you'll come across the same coffee machine as the one located beneath the windmill. But now it's time to embark on Santa Claus's quest. To initiate it, approach LKWD Santa Claus. This year, gather materials and craft both nice and naughty presents to offer to Santa Claus for points on the nice and naughty lists, unlocking various rewards. Respect, Santa, for 700k likes. Tap on Santa to discover recipes for both nice and naughty gifts, each with assigned point values. Focus on crafting the most valuable, epic gifts worth 40 points by combining two wrapping papers, one train, and one nutcracker since this will expedite the process of gaining all rewards even without the booster. Keep in mind, the color of the wrapping paper determines whether the gift is for the nice list, requiring yellow wrapping paper, or for the naughty list, where purple paper is used. Now, let's review the rewards, starting with the naughty list. You'll need a total of 500 naughty list points to unlock all the corresponding rewards. Moving to the nice list rewards, you see, an additional 500 nice list points are required to access all the offerings. To initiate the challenge, purchase a letter from the mailbox next to Santa. It costs 20 elf coins, obtainable through Mary's challenges, or you can acquire it for 80 ava coins. With a letter in hand, approach and interact with the present sack to gather materials mentioned in Santa's recipes. Keep in mind that the special letter, available for Avacoins, allows you to farm 10 materials at once, while the simple letter, obtainable for Elf Coins, provides only 4 materials before the letter breaks. Another limitation to note is that after harvesting 30 materials from the present sack, you must wait for an hour before resuming material farming. Even the second present sack in the social spot will not yield additional materials until the hour has elapsed regardless of whether it was utilized or not. However, with every special letter, you'll receive three yellow wrapping papers and one purple wrapping paper. Moreover, you'll find an excess of trains and a sufficient supply of nutcrackers, when you follow our earlier suggestion and exclusively pursue crafting epic gifts worth 40 points. Once you've collected enough materials, interact with the workshop table to add four materials following the recipes from Santa Claus. We strongly recommend crafting only epic gifts, so add two wrapping papers of the same color, one nutcracker and one train. Finally, hit, craft, to receive your gift. In our case, an epic nice list gift worth 40 points. As we craft an epic naughty list gift using purple paper, here's a tip. Take advantage of the ability to gift materials and gifts to any avakin. Use noob accounts to farm materials and gifts then gift them to your main account. This saves Avacoins and avoids the one-hour recovery time of the present sack by simply using another noob or creating a completely new noob account. Another tip. Farming epic naughty list gifts can be frustrating due to the low drop rate of purple paper. Therefore, for the naughty list, occasionally craft gifts using one nutcracker, two trains, and one purple wrapping paper for 20 points. This saves purple paper and nutcrackers, but remember, you have only 14 days to get all points, so keep track of the time remaining for the points you still need to farm. However, now that we have one of the best gifts for each list, let's gift them to Santa Claus to earn our 40 points for each list. You can gift Santa Claus up to 3 gifts per day without the booster and 6 gifts with the booster pack, so make sure to use all the gift slots he offers you daily. By the way, you can always check your progress by tapping the naughty and or nice list rewards icon next to Santa Claus. This is how Santa Claus's challenge works this year, and for Mary's challenge, which varies daily, we provide detailed guides on YouTube every day. Good luck in farming enough gifts and points to claim all rewards. Before we proceed with the final activity in this delightful place, let's take a moment to enjoy another 360 degrees view of the location. The festive vibes here are truly enchanting and add to the overall charm we appreciate so much. One of our most beloved interactive features in Avakin Life is riding Santa Claus's reindeer sleigh, which you can experience for 15 coins by tapping the ticket icon next to Santa. This ride offers an impressive overview of Mistletown, 
providing a super fun and beautiful experience. But, at this point, it's important to acknowledge that most of Mary's rewards were already introduced in 2022, and Santa Claus's rewards are merely recolors that have been reintroduced several times in different variations. Furthermore, the entire social spot and all challenges are reused from previous years. Yes, friends, we've already completed these exact challenges from Mary and Santa Claus, along with receiving recycled rewards, highlighting the lack of creativity from the developers in organizing this event. Developers, we would have appreciated more innovative Christmas events, challenges, and rewards rather than rehashed content. Wasn't that a pleasant ride? Before we delve into the details of each reward, let's pause for a moment to succinctly summarize the findings and observations we've gathered throughout our exploration. In conclusion, as we wrap up our exploration of Mistletown 2023 in Avacan Light, it's evident that the festive atmosphere and interactive features continue to make it a charming social spot. From the challenges presented by Mary and Santa Claus to the delightful activities like riding Santa Claus's reindeer sleigh and engaging in spirited snowball fights, Mistletown offers a variety of engaging experiences. However, it's important to note some disappointments in this year's event, particularly the high prices and dominance of crowns over coins. The recycling of challenges and rewards from previous years also raises concerns about the developer's creativity and the potential for more innovative Christmas events in the future. Despite these drawbacks, Mistletown remains a captivating place for Avacan life enthusiasts. As we eagerly await future updates and events, let's continue to spread joy and celebrate the spirit of the season in Avacan life. Now, let's take a closer look at all the rewards awaiting us beginning with those offered by Santa Claus. On Santa Claus's nice list, the first present is the Cosmos Festive Elf Socks for 125 nice list points, but note they are just recolors of the Palermo Cloud Comfort Socks from 2021, which have been used as the basis for several other Christmas socks in recent years. For 250 nice list points, Santa Claus rewards you with the Cosmos Festive Elf Pointy Hat for both genders, a recolor reminiscent of an ancient hat from 2016, the candy striped hat. This echoes the familiar approach seen with the socks. The final nice list gift, at 500 points, is the Cosmos Festive Elf Costume, a recolor of the 2016 Jolly Elf Costume, featuring only slight color variations. This reuse of the event and its rewards reflects an unoriginal development approach. Turning to the naughty list rewards, for 125 naughty list points, you obtain the Cosmos Festive Elf Boots, recolored versions of the Cosmos Bad Elf Socks from 2022. It's quite a pity to observe such replication in the offerings. For 250 naughty list points, you'll receive the Cosmos Festive Elf Hat for female and male Avakans, and as expected, both are recolors of Cosmos Elf Hats introduced in 2015 and revisited with recolors in 2016, 2022, and this year. The ultimate gift from the naughty list, at 500 points, is the Cosmos Festive Elf Jacket, a recolor of the steampunk waistcoat and trench from 2014. While the new designs are acknowledged, entirely new items would have been more appreciated. Now, let's explore all the rewards offered by LKWD Mary. The Xmas Vibes Pose, Secret Santa Paired Pose, Frostbound Armored Husky Wall Hanging, and all four color variants of the Frostbound Lamp were introduced in 2022. Offering new players the chance to obtain old items is great, but featuring items from just a year ago is lazy. The only novel inclusions are four profile backgrounds, essentially framed screenshots of the 2023 Xmas social spots. Additionally, there's the new Jolly Holly badge, admired for its design, although some might still favor the more traditional look of the festive spirit badges. A leveled-up version of those would have been a welcome enhancement. As we come to the end, we want to express our heartfelt gratitude for your viewership and support. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up as your feedback means a lot to us and helps us improve our content. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and enable notifications for future updates. With that, we conclude today's video. This is Flying Hedgehog, signing off and wishing you an amazing time at the party. Until next time, fly high and stay awesome. See you in Avacan Life.